All this month at Appalachian Wireless, get the only truly water-resistant Android smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy S7, for just $99.99, and get a second one free. While supplies last, service agreement is required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. For almost two weeks now, the senior citizen centers at Phelps and Marbone have been in a relative state of limbo. First, the centers were closed during an alleged illegal meeting by the Pike County Senior Citizens Board. Then the Phelps Center was told they could reopen, only to be told days later that they can't reopen. Now today, finally, the Senior Citizens Board made it legal and official that the centers at Phelps and Marbone will close, effective today. Now it's official. The Phelps and Marbone Senior Citizen Centers are closed. The Pike Senior Citizens Program Board passed an 8-1 to one vote in favor of the closures during a meeting today, with even the representative from the Phelps Center voting in favor of the closures. The meeting got heated several times, with accusations and character attacks flying from both sides of the debate. She's got in, she's had a personal vendetta against Stalin. She's even talked to some of the, let it slip, Linda let it slip, that she talked to some of the ladies there instead of, of uh, Missy didn't fall in line with the plot to get rid of Eileen that she was going to be gone. And look what happened. Point the finger back at yourself. If you want to know why your center is shut down, go look in a mirror. Hold it. Hold it. Your director told me that I had a senior and a cook that was going to get in trouble. Now, Missy, stand up and cry and tell them how hurt you are. I never once two-faced you the way Glenda Skeens did. Two-faced her? Yes. Oh, man. You be calm. Bring it out. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Board Chairman and Elkhorn City Mayor Mike Taylor even threatened a lawsuit following a vague accusation of wrongdoing by Pike Magistrate Hillman Dotson. How much do you get for being a mayor? Thousand. You should get 25. That's what you're going to pay. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Where are we going? Where are we going? I'll see you in the court after we boys. But with the centers, the ultimate reason for the closures, according to the board, money. Taylor said state-mandated pay increases last year are largely to blame for the board's budget problems. We didn't want to do this. And what we did was by numbers, like the people coming in and out of the center. And we didn't want to do this, but we had to have a budget cut of $95,000 is what we were in the red. And if we wouldn't have, we'd have to shut them all down. Dotson spoke on behalf of the Phelps Center and said if the board closes the centers, he would lead an effort to have the Pike Fiscal Court pull some of its funding it provided to the Senior Citizens Program. Dotson also promised that if the centers close, the county will make an effort to operate them out from under the umbrella of the Senior Citizens Program board. Dotson already has support from one member of the court in that threat. I'll go for taking the money back and let the county run it you know, by the county because the county owns the building. Now the closures took effect immediately and today's meeting was legal so the matter of the senior citizen centers appears to be settled for now. But based upon the discussion at today's meeting we could be gearing up for a battle between the seniors board and the Pike County Fiscal Court. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.